Hetrick just released a big design update, making the site wider and also adding new functionality to the match, series and most importantly, transfer pages. Let's have a Hey guys, it's Papa Mish and Hattrick just released a big design update with new features. Some of them will make our forum and competitive life much easier. I will list all of the changes somewhere over here with timestamps in the description if you want to skip to one of them immediately. We already have an official thread on the global forum and we'll look over the best comments at the end of this video. But with all of the small and big changes described on the dev blog, let's continue from there. The first noticeable change is the fact that the site got wider. The last design update was in 2008. Back then we had smaller screens with lower resolution. But that was 12 years ago and technology advanced. And Hattrick was left with smaller site and a lot of empty spaces. That's exactly what they change right now. And for instance, the left menu is no longer disappearing in the match order or the live viewer pages. The next change is typography. They didn't touch the main menu and they will be still using the Tahoma font for it, but everything else was different. The Vardana font for the old design, the Fira Sans for the new one, and from now on they will be using the Roboto font to be more consistent. Cool. The matches page had a noticeable change as well. No longer just a list of games. We are starting with two big highlighted boxes for our previous and next upcoming match. Also, we have a list of our upcoming matches with the nearest at the top and our previous matches with the most recent at the top. If you want to change the chronological order, you can do it at your preference page. Another cool thing, in case you didn't set a friendly as I did at one of my teams, you'll have a slot here and you'll be able to click on it and you'll go to the challenge pages to set up your friendly immediately. The series page received some nice updates with a lot of new information. First of all, we are getting new sidebars. Information about the division battle, information about team status, stating how many players in each team are carded, injured, how many players they are selling right now and how many players that they bought or sold with the opportunity to click on it and go to their transfer page and see exactly which players are there. And the last missing sidebar is cup progression. But at series with teams team playing in the cup, you could see something like this with the team in the cup stating in which round they are still playing and on the series page we have a nice icon showing the team that playing in that uh, particular cup. Also, we had a combination of the old tables and history information combined to one series history and we got three tabs here. One of them showing the series history and old tables and we could go to previous uh, seasons and to see uh, the table as well. And also the historical standings, I love this tab because it states all the uh, teams that ever played in this series and still active, how many play games they played, how many points they have and so on. And also this series history that just saying who were the champion in each season. But Hattrick, we already asked you, please do something like the cup page with not only the chronological order of the cup winners or the championship uh, winners, please also say the number of wins. We want to know which team won the most amount of time in a particular series or premier division. But overall, love the series page. On the player page, we had an update for this sidebar box. It now shows information about specialities homegrown players, injuries, cards, and transfer status. And we are also added the opportunity to sort our players by cards, injuries, and transfer status. And we have the same sidebar box for our Youth Academy player page. And hopefully the bug that were showing specialities for players in the Youth Academy even before the speciality was revealed is sorted by now. The transfer page had probably the most practical changes and any manager should find something helpful here. We have a lot of nice things, so let's start. First of all, some new nice skill sliders to search the skills quicker. Then speciality icons. You could set any combination of specialities that you want for your search. 
near the max bid, you have the opportunity to use all your available ca cash transfer and not be suggested with players above uh, the money that you have. Then we have previous searches. It will remember our previous searches. For supporters, it's up to five previous searches and even non-supporters will get one previous search. So if you search for something yesterday or maybe last week and you want to set up the same search again, it will remember it. And another completely new thing is this thing, current bids by teams similar to mine. Basically, it searches for teams that have the same power ranking as ours and give us the opportunity to see on which players they are currently bidding. So yeah, maybe the power ranking system is not perfect and hat-trick. And still, you have the opportunity to see which kind of players, teams with the same power ranking as you, are currently bidding in the transfer market. Maybe you could set and start a bid war with them or just get some useful information. We have great updates for the transfer result page as well. After we set up the players we are looking for and we are searching and are getting the list of players, we have a lot of interesting information about them. We are getting the number of views each player had, the number of bids each player had, and for supporters, an integrated transfer compare. You no longer need to open the player in a new tab and go and search as transfer compare. You could get this information inside the transfer result page. And on top of that, if you don't have enough money to bid for a player, you'll have this message, insufficient funds to place a bid. And when you have enough money, you have the quick bid if you want to. If you are interested in a certain player and you want to know who's your competition, you could go to the player page and then click on the bids. And here you'll have an information who's of the other managers that already bidded on the player is currently online and if someone will try to outbid you at the last minute. He is the reason why I am Papa Mish. Uh, let's continue. We have a small update for the team transfer page. You have the opportunity to sort all the players by sold, bought or everything. And we have an update for the fan page. On the side box we have uh, the week and the change and the total num amount of fans that your team have and also the upcoming and the played matches are in a similar format by the way when you uh, th this how it looks when you are reaching your team's fan cap so when you're reaching a team fan cap you are not able to get any more fans even if you are winning all your matches so that's <laughs> asleep and we have a few minutes to finish this video so let's see what's left in the match detail page you will have the information if the game was a friendly with cup rules in the club overview we have both home and away kits shown in the forum and that's a big one actually we have a new Marcus and red button if you are using fox trick you're already familiar with this and obviously if you are using the internet you know that this as well but it's a new one for hat trick Right now you could go to any uh, thread, read how much you want and mark any post as mark as unread with a new button and then go back and read for the, from the same spot. In the top player page you will have the information about how my, many minutes any player played in the last match. In the ladder and tournaments we'll have more information in a side box with this little arrow showing the trend of your team if you are w mostly winning or losing. And uh, as a supporter feature on your home uh, club page you'll go to the supporter and another side box will show you uh, the teams with most amount of supporters in a certain country or even in hat-trick overall. And that wraps up all the changes from the dev blog. Let's see what people think about this on the global forum. 
In the spirit of things, I made a redesign myself. And as far as the thread on global goes, people really love those changes and the responses are positive. The only problems are people complaining about font size and readability, which could be adjusted with zooming or preference change. And I really love this response of the ju Dutch manager Jel Merzma. He said in these times of COVID, creating more space is always a good idea. Nice improvements. What's your thoughts about all this? Because honestly, I wasn't expecting so many useful changes when the main purpose was just making the side wider. So it was a nice surprise. Please write me in the comments what you did or didn't like and what was your favorite change. And as always, thank you so much for watching because Hattrick, it's more than a game, it's a community. And I'll definitely see you around in my next video.